What's up guys? I am going to make a video today talking about uh, what I'm learning the most working alongside alongside uh, millionaires or successful people. Um, yeah, uh, th these are the things that I have been, you know, uh, realizing and noticing working alongside these people. A little background story about me. I um, grew up nowhere near being wealthy my parents came from mexico i'm a first generation american um and you know my my dad was born in a ranch my mom was born in the middle of the mountains um so you know they came here and that you know they they felt as if their you know way of being happy and and being uh wealthy and and you know free um was to just you know work work get a job and uh and you know uh and just you know stay at that job and just give it all you got pretty much you know be a good employee and uh hope for the best pretty much and so um i've been working alongside real estate investors business owners um uh, you know just you know youtubers all that stuff and these are the things that I've been noticing. I'm a person, I observe a lot. I'm a, I'm an observer. I think I, you know, if you, you know, know me, you'll know that I mostly, I'm not really a person, I'm not uh, an extrovert, I'm an introvert naturally. So I'll just more observe people rather than like, you know, just talk. And so, yeah, these are the things that I've noticed working alongside these, you know, really successful, um, entrepreneurs, business owners, real estate investors, um, uh, YouTubers, just all of it, you know? And, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to share it because I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, a millionaire or anything like that, but you know, uh, so I'm pretty sure, you know, whoever's watching this can relate with me. And, um, you know, obviously I'm very blessed to, you know, work alongside these people, but not everybody, you know, um, has that blessing yet or you know yeah they just don't have that blessing so I decided to make a video so, so I can share you know uh, that way you know hopefully you guys can learn something from it too uh, so yeah the first thing that I noticed about uh, working alongside these people is consistency and no matter the results so I've noticed you know, that just how consistent, you know, these people are, these entrepreneurs, these real estate investors, these uh, YouTubers, these uh, business owners. I just noticed that just because one day you're not seeing results or, or you get cursed at by someone or, or someone, you know, gives you a bad review or, or uh, you know, just it's just not having a good day most people would quit, you know, they'd be like, you know, this ain't worth it, you know, and, and I think that's the difference right there is that I've noticed how consistent, you know, these people are and how, you know, no matter what, no matter the results, they just wake up the same, you know, early the next day and just get after the next day and just stay consistent. And I noticed that. And I think that's something that I'm working on myself because before, you know, uh, um, I, w I was never like a quitter or anything, but you know, I just was like, hmm, I'm, you know, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should try something different. And, you know, maybe it's not for me. Um, but no, it's not that. It's just that you have to stay consistent on it. If you have a passion for it and you love what you're doing, just stay consistent on it and you're going to be successful. Uh, the second thing is watch every dollar, always finding ways to save your money. And this is this is something that really, really uh, amazed me. I, I've always felt like a frugal person, a person that wants to save, that wants to find ways to uh, make more money, to, you know, just uh, find ways to save, you know, and all that. I've always been that type of person, but I always thought that, you know, once you're a millionaire, you're kind of just more like, you know, you can go ahead and spend more without having so much, you know, uh, worry about, you know, not having or saving or whatnot. But no, from what I've noticed is that these millionaires, these successful people, they're just very, they watch every dollar, no matter what, 
they always act like they're poor and that's actually one thing that I that I read in the rich dad poor dad book is that um, poor people stay broke by acting like they're rich rich people stay rich by acting like they're poor and so I took that to heart and I it just makes me like completely see everything differently now because <clears throat> from what I've seen I see these guys they'll literally wear the same clothes every day or the same clothes like like it's like simple clothes I don't see these people flashing out wearing you know Louis Vuitton or Gucci and all that stuff it's literally just like sim simplicity and um and I see that they'll just their money, they'll just reinvest it into something else. They won't waste it on stupid things. Everything that they spend their money on is to hopefully make a profit from it. And so that is like kind of watching every dollar. And even, even you know, like I'll see like, you know, they'll use coupons or, or stuff just to save five dollars. Like uh, that right there is showing me a lot. It's showing me that I have to watch every dollar. You know what I mean? I can't just uh, spend money like, you know, like it's nothing yet. Another thing that I read too was that if you take care of money, money will take care of you. And so, you know, uh, uh, yeah, take care of your money. So uh, the third thing is that they welcome failure. They welcome failure and they take risks. That's another thing that I've noticed a lot about um, these successful people is that they welcome failure. They're not scared to fail. And I think that's one thing that uh, I see a lot of, you know, uh, you know, average, you know, person, uh, the mistake that they have is that they, they're scared of failure. You know what I mean? I was one of these, these persons as well. I, back when I was 21, 22, uh, I guess you can say it's pride, egoness. You, you just, you don't want people to see you fail. And after what I, I what I've noticed is that these successful people, they're not scared of that. They, you know they're 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 willing to take the risk, and if they fail, they'll learn from it, and it, and they'll just go on and, and do it better next time. Um, I have this saying is, or I this like I guess you can say this question that I ask people. I say, who's smarter, the person, one person that took five thousand dollars, started a business, uh, did everything they could to start a business, um, and they failed or another person that um, has $5,000 and said, you know what? I don't wanna, it, that, that business looks a little too risky. I don't wanna you know, do that. I'd rather just keep my $5,000. Who, who's, who's, who's smarter, who's dumber um, out of those two people? I would ask people that and most people would say, well, obviously the guy that you know stayed with the $5,000 and I say no, because, you know, if the other person, you know, took the risk, even though they lost $5,000, I mean, hey, you can make that money somewhere else. It's like, you know, money comes and goes. That, that's just the reality. But now that person that took that risk and started that business, even though they failed, now they know what they did wrong. And now they have an advantage compared to that other person. Now they, they have experience and the guys experience is the number one thing that you want to have and probably your best friend when it comes to, you know, uh, you know, being successful other than, you know, discipline and, uh, consistency, but, um, yeah, experience is, is, you know, so I always say that the other guy, the one that lost the 5,000 started a business is smarter. Why? Because now he knows he's a step ahead. He knows what not to do next time when he does it and the other guy is you know just falling behind so anyways um <clears throat> yeah so welcome failure and take risks the fourth thing is constantly constantly learning that's another thing that i've noticed about these successful people is that they're constantly learning guys i, I kid you not there's people, I mean, you can, you'll find them anywhere. You go to the restaurant, you go to, I don't know, the bar or something. And you find a guy that's, you know, has a couple drinks and he's just talking to you and he acts like he knows everything or he's the smartest guy ever. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> and it's funny, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure a lot, all you guys have come across those people. 
But it's just, it's so funny because what I've noticed is that the smartest person is usually the one that constantly wants to learn and is willing to hear the other person out and their point of view of things. And that way they, they kind of, you know, put themselves in their situation or put themselves in their shoes and learns from it. And uh, this is something that I've noticed a lot about these successful people as well, is that they're just constantly learning. You never act like you're, you know it all. You know, it's just egoness at the end of the day. So, um, and actually, yeah, I've noticed that the poor middle class people are the ones that usually act like this. Like they know it all. They know what's gonna happen. They know, um, everything and they know how to solve all the problems in the world and it's just it's just hilarious but uh yeah this is something that i've noticed about these wealthy people that i've been working alongside with is that they're just constantly learning they constantly have questions constantly want to know more number five is they welcome criticism um and here's this is another thing that the poor and middle class uh avoid completely or try to avoid completely as well they they're scared of criticism they're scared of what their friends or their family or you know who you know is gonna say about them and i guarantee i guarantee that there's someone watching this video that has been wanting to do something has wanted to start something but they're scared about the criticism that their friends most of their friends or their family is gonna uh, say about them and I mean, hey, I used to be one of those guys, but I've noticed that, you know what? You only live once. You're only in this life. God only blessed you with one life. Well, I mean, other than the afterlife, but he blessed you with this life. Um, so you might as well. And it's it's so it's so short temporarily. I mean, it's it's so short this life. Like to us, it may seem like 100 years is a long time. But hey, I mean, if you look at dog life. They only live what I think the most is probably like 15 to 20 years. So everyone's, you know, think about God's time. You know what I mean? God sees our lifetime like it's like the way we see dogs life. They live, we live so little. Um, so we're only here for a temporary time. Don't waste your time, you know, don't waste your life thinking about what your friends or your family is going to criticize you about you know what i mean as long as you know it's for a, a healthy cause and it's for you know it's to hopefully you know inspire help someone else you know do it don't be scared to uh to take risks you know what i mean and to and to um and to do what you know what you've been wanting to do don't don't let others opinions and criticism stop you from doing that um and that's one thing that i noticed about you know, these successful people is that they welcome it. They, they, they're not scared of criticism and actually they, they feed off of it. They see what people have to say and then they, they better themselves with that. So, um, it's like they welcome it, you know what I mean? So that way they can, uh, uh, they'll know what to work on. So pretty much, um, and the final one that I've noticed that successful, successful people do, um, millionaires, you know, is that they always give back. I always thought, and it seems like everyone thinks this, that, uh, um, you know, the rich just steal and take. Um, but from what I've noticed is that actually rich people or successful people, wealthy people, they always want to give back. And from what I've noticed, the most wealthy ones always want to give back and, and you know, go on YouTube and look up top five wealthiest people. I mean, Elon Musk, uh, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, um, I don't know, you know, they're always giving advice and they're always wanting to give back somehow. And so, you know, I've noticed that too. And I, um, I used to think that, you know, like I said, that, that rich people just want to take, and that's not the case. Actually, um, you know, the poor middle-class people is usually the ones that are the most selfish and don't want to uh, share anything that they have or any advice. And so, um, you know, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, just don't don't be that type of person. Give back. Um, it's actually in the Bible. It says that if you, oh man, I don't even know that verse. Actually, you know, I can look it up right now. Uh, give back quotes in 
Okay, 2 Corinthians, Corinthians uh, 9, 6 through 8. Remember this, whoever soars sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows gener generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under comes compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. There's your answer right there. I literally, I, I didn't even know the Bible verse. I literally just looked that up right now. So, um, like I said, guys, uh, these are the things that I've noticed that these successful people do that I'm working on and that I want to improve, you know, to, to be the best version, the best possible version that I can be. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, drop a like if you guys, you know, think that I earned it. Um, and uh yeah follow me on instagram um uh i have some links down below also that you know um uh it's called whole strength they actually uh i i kind of, i'm kind of like working with them now uh they're a christian um uh, workout um uh, like uh clothing and what do you call it they have pretty cool stuff if you want to show your faith um yeah there, there's a link down below where you can click it and it will actually save you 10% uh, if you use that that uh, coupon code that I have down below. Uh, that's it. I mean, drop a like, uh, share this to anybody that you uh, think will like it. And I uh, appreciate your guys' support. See you guys next time.